today I got a uh, Smart UPS 1500 off eBay. It is not working. It's got a dent in the top cover, but other than that, it looks to be pretty well intact. The batteries were completely toasted, but I had my fresh pack that came out of the one that was in my bedroom. It's only a couple months old. And uh, it's the first time I've actually put the batteries in one of these newer ones that have user replaceable batteries with the harness and the covers and stuff. See so these older ones, you got to take them all apart and and uh, unbolt the cables directly off the uh, circuit board. There's no no harness like this. And there's also no safety disconnect in the back like these newer ones have. But before I put this in, I'm going to take this apart and have a look at the inside. Well, the inside is definitely a lot different from uh, the older unit. Probably a very similar circuit, just with more modern chips and lower component count. I noticed that uh, they skimped on the input capacitors. There's only one, even though there's a spot for a second one on the board. These older ones actually had both of the caps. I don't know how, what value the cap is though. It might be more microfarads because it's newer for the same case size. Everything looks pretty clean in here. In fact, it looks brand new inside. Nothing smells funny or anything. The only problem is this uh, battery interlock plug is kind of broken out the back of the unit. It's not, stay not staying snapped in place. But uh, everything else looks pretty good. And I'm going to go ahead and hook the batteries up. See if it if it'll power up before I bother putting the cover back on. Flip this back over real quick. Got that same 80, 80 millimeter cooling fan, just in a totally different mounting bracket. All right, got some signs of life here. So the second I plugged it in, the battery charge indicator came up. And that little bit of noise that's coming from it. Probably normal, but I still would like to check the capacitors on this. Make sure it's not going to have the same problem that these older ones did when the caps went bad. They tend to act a little bit erratic. wonder if it's going to even do anything. Hmm. Maybe something else is wrong with it. Alright, I just turned it off and back on and now it says online. Still acting kind of goofy. Hmm. Oh, I gotta read the manual. Maybe I'm not doing something right. Oh, there we go. Just gotta hold the button in. Yeah, it looks pretty promising. I'll let it charge up and uh, do my runtime test. Maybe this thing will be good to go. One of the rubber feet was missing and it caused me to scratch my darn kitchen table when I unpacked this thing. So just took a foot off one of the parts units and it was the exact same thing. Got that all mounted in place now. I'm ready to do a load test on this. I'm getting kind of impatient. Alright, now they got 500 watt load connected. Battery indicator is blinking. I'm pretty sure that means it's out of calibration. So let's get on with calibrating it then, shall we? Uh, I can't silence that because it thinks the battery is already low. I'll show you what the old batteries looked like while that's doing its thing. And what is it? 720 right now. Yeah, here's the old ones. Yeah, can't see anyway, but they're all cracked and leaking everywhere. I'm not even sure what brand they are, but they look like they're factory. Well, it's been 15 minutes and the doggone thing is still going, so... I don't know how much longer my ears can take it, but I want to be down here when it shuts off so I know how much runtime I got. Wow, after 29 minutes of that beeping, it finally shut itself down. 
That's by far the longest I've seen one of these run. Those are some good strong batteries. I'd like to give me another set for that other UPS there. Once I got a little more money. But man, this thing's sweet. I think I'm going to leave the caps alone for now. This thing probably hasn't had a whole lot of use on it, judging by the fact that it still had the factory batteries in it. And uh, it's also got the smart slot in the back, which means I could add the network adapter, which would make it absolutely perfect for using in my server rack. Uh, I can do remote management on it. So I'm going to let it charge up overnight, and tomorrow I can finally bring my file server back online. But uh, I think this thing's going to be great. Pretty much good as new.